hello and welcome back to the channel and um i got some comments under the mine sweeper tutorial about the calculation of the number of mines being wrong and this is correct uh, i've made an error sorry for that and thanks to this b zibx and clean carson for bringing that one um to me so the error is if we start our mine grid the two columns to rows a number of mice too it is easy to see that uh, sometimes let me um oh i fixed it already let me just um <laughs> what we were using here was get surrounding cells all right and then even though you know that we have two mines here in those four squares from time to time what we would get is damn it one right but we know that there are two mines here and the problem comes from that strange implantation of gets running cells because If we click on this cell here, what Gato is gonna do is going to treat to uh, is going to treat only this, this, and this, and this cell as surrounding cell, but not the diagonal cells, right? And this can be easily seen <coughs> if we take a look at the take a look at the surrounding cells what you can do is print surrounding cells size and normally I would expect them to uh, to be eight right but in our case god damn it let me click on a number this is going to be four right so this cell is not counted towards that surrounding cells that's why the calculation of the number of mice tends to be wrong. So how can we fix this? Uh, let me write this um, from the from the very start to show you. I'm going to create a custom function go called get surrounding cells to check when we pass where we pass current cell vector to i and then uh, we can specify some variables here target cell and surrounding cells and that's going to be an empty array and we need a column here so basically we need to check the three columns and three rows of cells with our cell the cell that we click being in the middle right so i can just write for y in three for x in three uh, and we're counting from zero so the cell with coordinates one and one is going to be the cell that we clicked on right so if x is equal to to one and y is equal to one this is the cell that we clicked on right because going back to paint and this is zero zero of course when we're checking surrounding cells and then this is one and one but this is also the cell that we clicked on so we want to skip it paint is perfect for game dev and teaching about it so we just continue meaning do not execute any code farther by but go to the next iteration of the loop and then i can say target cell is equal to current cell plus vector to i 
x minus 1, y minus 1, and then rounding cells append target cell, and in the end, I can just return surrounding cells. And with that, I can use this in uh, get surrounding cells, uh, get surrounding cells mine count, and I provide cell coordinates. And now, if I click, I always get two, even if the mine that I'm searching for is diagonal to the um, cell I clicked, right? So that should be the fix for the proper uh, surrounding cells mine count. Uh, again, uh, these things happen, you know, uh, I would expect uh, Godot to uh, have that get surrounding cells method implemented differently, but I was wrong. Sorry for that. Uh, I would like to thank everybody for voting in the questionnaire I posted. And it seems that the next tutorial uh, I will be uh, I will be providing to you is going to be about top down to the shooter, and let me tell you, it's going to take some time to prepare. So yeah, uh, please be patient and take care. Keep on coding. See you.